The main reason really for introducing iPads and trialling them was to improve our student experience. We're always looking at ways of doing that and with technology moving on and having a great e-learning team within the faculty seemed a good thing to look at. Um, one of the key drivers for it as well was we are in a joint venture at the moment with the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore and we've recently opened a medical school out in Singapore. Now they're going to be giving all their students iPads, so it would make sense for us to look at our students also having iPads, which would mean that we could share e-learning resources with them. And one of the things that we want to make use of is the technology out there that will give a better learning experience. We've done a lot of looking uh, and a lot of comparing and we decided that the mini iPad was probably the best tablet that we could get to deliver an increasing amount of e-learning material which is being developed both here and in Singapore. The e-learning team was charged with the design and development of the iPad project and a lot of people from the School of Medicine got involved uh, in this pilot. We had a lot of uh, time to think about the learning objective of the project and we finally identified uh, two different areas uh, where we were going to concentrate for the pilot. One area was the preclinical area and the other area was the clinical area. These students are on clinical attachments right across northwest London and further afield in GP practices. Um, they also have a fair amount of downtime. Clinicians are busy people, sometimes teaching is cancelled at short notice. So we thought that would give them a real opportunity to actually engage with learning while they're in the trust and really are hanging around. Um, also, they would have had the experience of being out as year three students on clinical placement, so actually they would be able to really compare the difference in their learning without an iPad and having an iPad. And the other thing with them is actually their course materials, methods of learning, really lend themselves well to technology. Uh, one of the things that we were concentrating on was uh, on the use of virtual clickers. Uh, so this is a system where students can interact with the lecturer uh, during, the le during the lecture. This was very effective um, and we were also piloting the use of um, annotation tools uh, using the iPad, specifically using uh, iAnnotate, uh, which is a paid app and we pay the app for the students and we push that on the devices. The students were accessing all the learning materials from the virtual learning environment from Blackboard and they were downloading the materials on their iPads, uh, saving that on the cloud and they were annotating all the materials. So all the annotations, all the comments uh, were saved uh, for the students to access them later on. Uh, during that phase we were also thinking and, and looking at how the students were accessing ebooks from the library as well as all the recommended medical apps. Uh, during the clinical phase, uh, we were mainly concentrating on the development of iBooks. And the idea was that the students, when they go into the attachments, they carry with them a lot of course guides and information. So we wanted to save all that paper and we wanted to make the students able to access all this content on the iPads. So we designed the iBooks uh, with the idea of incorporating all this information, timetable information, information about different sites, uh, learning materials, as well as um, electronic sign-off and ops within the iBooks. So we are piloting these electronic sign-offs um, in the areas of um, obstetrics and gynaecology as well as general practice. So the idea is that the students can ask the clinician to sign them off uh, using the iPad. And once the, clinician, uh, the clinicians do that, that information is sent directly by email to the course administrator as well as uh, to the database where we can track all the information. I could see it being useful for kind of for accessing things like our timetables and doing various work and if anything it will ease the burden on the uh, computers that we already have here. We've gone straight from fifth into sixth with a short holiday and everything so this was kind of an added bonus and hopefully be useful for, for this year. Potentially to be used on the wards for looking things up um, in quickly and conveniently. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, well, I'm just really hoping that it manages like the market, I suppose, to bring everything into one place. But I'm definitely going to be using it on my commute and um, I'm looking forward to reading some of the e-books that are being provided. Having that sort of thing all on one device available will be really useful. Today it seems very successful. We're going to run the pilot for two years. 
with year five and year six students and then we'll review it with a possibility that perhaps we'll roll this out for all clinical students or perhaps students across the whole course.